everybody. It's Carol from Angels here for our short demos. I just love doing these for you. I'm hoping that you're really liking them and enjoying them and maybe taking advantage of them. But today I am going to highlight jo the Trimmer by George by Hoop Sisters. This is an amazing tool. You're probably like, what is this, Carol? Well, this is made by Hoop Sisters. There's, there's a whole story to it, which is really, really interesting. A few years back, maybe four or five years ago, maybe, I, um, I went out to, gosh, where are they, Illinois or somewhere around there. Uh, I, I flew anyway to get there. And I did a um, Hoop Sister uh, certification event. And I'm a certified Hoop Sister teacher. So it was really, really fun, and I got to learn about the Hoop Sisters and, and their daughter, Aubrey, that works you know works for them, and Nina, who's all head of marketing and such. So anyway, they're wonderful, wonderful people, and we do have Hoop Sisters here in the store, and I just wanted to show you the Trimmer by George. So let's get into this. So, um, and also, this, this is not just for Hoop Sister projects. This is for anybody that is into machine embroidery, you are going to love this tool. So let me take you to camera three so we can see it a little closer. Now, here is a regular block that you've done, machine embroidery, right? Um, it, it's, you know, it comes off, you, you know, trim it around, but you need to get your quarter inch, right? Now, when you're doing these, you also use, um, you know, use stabilizer. And in the Hoop Sisters case, they use what is called battleizer. We'll get into that another time. So um, when you are joining blocks, you want to get that bulk out of your seam allowance. So that is where the Trimmer by George comes in. So we are going to, now here is one that has been cut with the Trimmer by George. You see the, the edges here, there's no bulk in there. It's all like beautiful. And this is, this is a block here that is going to be inside, let's say the wall hanging. So the, the, all four of these corners are going to be joined by another, another block, so to speak. Uh, this one here, okay, this one here, this edge here is going to be on, this is going to have binding on it. So you want to, it's okay to keep the bulk on that edge. These, these sides are going to be joined by another block. So let's get on into it. Let's do it with this block here. So you basically, let's do the, um, the end that's going to be with the, with the binding. So you want to flip, flip it over, because see there's a lip on here, all right? This lip is going up, all right? But we're going to lay it this way, and we can see all the lines. It's, it's facing us up, so we can read it. You want to line that first dotted line right up with your, let me just get this right, there we go. We want to line it up with our, um, where our stitch line is, all right? And that is the, core. Oh, here we go. Yeah, Carol, you need a cutter here. And I am, of course, using my Martelli Ergonomic Rotary Cutter, my favorite thing ever. And you just wanna cut that right away. And there we go. We have a beautiful, this is for the binding edge. All right, now we're gonna flip this over. And now we are going to do the edge for going to get this bulk out of it. Oh, this one doesn't have a whole lot in it. But so see, see how just want to make sure you're right up to that stitching line. Okay. And then you're going to flip this over. See, this one doesn't have a whole lot on the edge here. It's kind of like, you know, we do that sometimes. And see, and you can also see through here. So you know that your top part of your block is flipped over. And then you're just gonna take your rotary cutter and you're gonna cut right across. There we go. Then, now we want a quarter edge, quarter inch seam allowance. Flip this over, that top dotted line, right on the stitch line. And we are going to cut. And there we go, and there we go. All of our bulk is out of the seam allowance. Let's try another one. Flip this over. Bring our trimmer by George right up. See, and I just kind of like slide it back and forth. We just want to make sure we're right up to that stitch line. Flip this over, just like so. Rotary cutter, right across. There we go. Got that right out. See that, beautiful. Keep it like that. 
flip our trimmer by George over. This is trimmer by George 2.0. The first one did not have lines. And, and, and they added the lines with all these markings on it, which is really cool. And then trim that away. And there we go. Let's just do one more. May as well just finish off this block just for the heck of it. So again, right, just want to make sure we get all that top part of the block. Whoop, see this one? There we go. Flip it right over. There we go. There, flip the trimmer by George right over. Line up the dotted line right with your stitch line. And there we go. Now we have a block. We have two of our edges that is going to be for bindings. And then when we put right sides together for these, there is no bulk. You just sew right down the line and it's going to be perfect. No bulk in your seam. There we go. Now another thing that the Trimmer by George does, this is fun. We're going to go like this. By the way, yes, this is uh, Tula Pink, Tula Pink fabric. So when you are, whoops, let me go this way. There we go. There is also lines on here for the sashing and the binding. I know there's a little, there's some light reflection. I can see it. Sashing and binding line. So when you are cutting some strips for sashing for your Hoop Sister quilt or for any other quilt, just want to make sure that your measurements, I know for Hoop Sisters, this is the, the size that they are. So easy. Just there we go, sashing right up with that line, sashing, there we go. When you're doing the binding, you are going to line up the edge right with the binding line. And there we go. And this, everybody is the trimmer by George. You will use this for all of your machine embroidery projects that are, you know, you, that, you're, that you're making blocks. So um, this is a, just a, an awesome tool. Come on in, we have plenty of them here. I have more coming in. And if you haven't checked out the Hoop Sister designs that, um, that we have, come on in and see them. Thank you for listening to Angel Short Demos. Bye everybody.